Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we coming in with Green Leaf this week. Yeah. This fool off camera is just doing the most with the least. I ain't did nothing, man. Listen, I watch Green Leaf at work, right? Don't tell nobody else. But I watched it at work, and why all day long I've been singing that God darn song that Bishop was singing. Yeah. Bishop said, I'm gonna sing on my jub my silver jubilee now. He said, it is my living. Yeah. Stanley said that's a real song. Yeah. I don't know that song. That I haven't heard it in a long time. It's a but you grew way. up in church. I no, I no 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 no. <laughs> I did not grow up in church. I got yes. I got took there when I was little. <laughs> Against, against my will. It's the same thing. We ain't even got to the introduction yet. Listen, if you're not a <laughs> fan member, which means you have not joined Calvary, which means you have not come down to the front, shaking our hand, <clears throat> been welcomed into the fold, go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button. You'll get your packet in the mail. We'll let you know everything you need to do. We'll teach you about tithing because it's very important over here at Calvary because we got we got skip to do. Go ahead and rate the, rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you made it to this point, it don't even matter. Yeah. You've already been counted. Exactly. So, I do want to say this, first of all. I mean to do this every week, but we just try to get in and get out of the videos. Mm -hmm. But so many of you all give us shout outs every week. Oh, yeah. James Caldwell, Twisted Life. My girl Shelly comes through and she just let me know that she popped in the video to show some support. Thank you all. The Kenneths, they come through every week. And I hope I'm not leaving anybody out. Y'all know. Been That's why you don't call no names in church. But I want to. I know, right? you giving people that is true. You don't call no names. Because the one person going to get pissed, off. Get get pissed off. off. What about me? But y'all know how it goes over here. I just really wanted to say that for you all to come back every week. I look forward to seeing y'all <laughs> in the comments. We have good old banter back and forth with each other. Sometimes yeah. we agree with each other. Sometimes we don't. And it's cool. That's what I want. That's I don't right. Know. We don't need an amen corner over here. Hey. So thank you all. So let's get into what happened in Greenleaf. The title was what? Runaway Train. Never Coming Back. That's my song though. Bro. Yeah. I think it should have been Reflections. Because that's basically what I saw happen in this whole oh, yeah, it was entire a whole, episode. A whole lot of reflections. So we're not going to go scene by scene. But we're going to break it down. And talk about some of the things that we want to talk about. And then we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Aaron and what the boy name is? Kevin. Kevin. They're over there at the plantation and they're having a cordial visit and Charity seems to be doing. I'm not going to say she's okay, but she's going along and I'm like, Kevin. I was surprised to see all too much. in the same room. It's too much too soon. Okay, you know that this woman is not handling this really well and you just, just I don't know. Just to me, it was just too much. But come find out, <clears throat> they want to get married and build a house or buy a house or something. And then later on, Bishop came in there to check on how Charity was doing. And she was like, we're doing, but when is it my turn to yeah. get my happily ever after? Since like everybody else around here can get what they want. And I got to look at them happy as can be. And I did nothing wrong. But fall in love with a man that ain't in love with me. I'm like, darn. Somebody need to talk. Well, no. And y'all came through. Said so, somebody, somebody need to come through and talk to him, man. So I said, okay. So Aaron <laughs> let Bishop know in that moment while he was still at the house. Listen, Pops ain't doing good. You know, we ain't really on speaking terms like that either. But he has pancreatic cancer, so... Maybe you may want to reach out to him. You know, I'm trying to do my best. You mm. know that whole thing. When somebody gets sick, they ready to try to make it in. Yeah, exactly. And they're exactly. trying to make it right. What y'all say is the, it's the right and the wrong time because you don't yes. know whether to take it sincerely and purely from their heart. That's true. Yeah, you don't know. So, while <sighs> Bishop is at the house, he making his visits to air for the, to the sick and shut in. Um, <laughs> so he goes over there to Sophia. Sophia is still in her mood. She's still mm -hmm. in her funk. As I mean, she's entitled to that feeling. Exactly. But I'm trying to figure out, uh, are they just trying to wait for Sophia to come out of it? Nobody's paying this girl no mind. Gigi over there at the church all got no day. 
bailing people out of jail and all this skit. Well, I can say this. Some people have been trying to talk to her, but she ain't trying to hear them. So they yeah. giving her her space. You know, so Lady May tried to talk to her, she ain't want to hear. Her mama tried to, to leave her alone. So we found the only one that she really listened to was who? The bishop. The bishop. Ain't that about right, though? That's about right. But no, it wasn't the bishop. It was granddad. That happens to have see, a bishop's see, title. See, us, we will do the world for grandma, and y'all will do the world for granddad. That is the way it is. Yep, that's how it work. Yeah. Because I definitely was my grandfather's child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, he goes in there, and she's still, you know, she's talking the same stuff. And she she ain't feeling the whole church thing. And then she actually did open up to him and she was like, you know, it's not fair. You know, it's not fair what happened to me, blah, 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 blah. So then Bishop, we thought he was healed. We thought the Lord had came down and healed him and everything. Because he ain't had, no, I hear it I say ALS. Yeah. Wrong yeah. helmet, wrong show. Yeah, we ain't seen no shakes in a long time, man. So he went on to tell Sophia, you know, listen, I have Parkinson's. Am I going to get mad at God because I have Parkinson's? No. These bodies just break down. And I said, um, wrong, wrong analogy. <laughs> That's wrong what I was analogy. like. I'm like, she laid there like, she's real she young. She like 12. Let me yeah. say she ain't 12, but. She's young. So, we ain't talking about bodies breaking down. Yeah, her body ain't been around that long, Bishop. <laughs> That's like telling somebody that just drove off the Lexus dealership with a car with five miles on it. Exactly. You know, things like this happen. They break down. Say her, they got five. Yeah, everybody just came from the manufacturer. It still got the stickers and the warranty on it. And right? she was looking at him like, and then he did have some good wisdom because you know Bishop talks in uh, parables and all that. Yeah. So he told her, he said, um, you know, happiness is not the absence of sadness. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to really learn to coexist and be happy while the sad is still present. I said, you know what, Bishop, you better go ahead. Mm -hmm. See, that's how y'all be getting all the people time money and electric bill money oh, yeah. in the doubt because you say but, something real deep like that. But, like, but I actually, I thought he was going to say that happiness is, is not the absence of problems. Yeah. That's what I thought he was going to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, we've been saying that for years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So over at <laughs> Calvary, Gigi is trying to let put her daddy up on game and also letting her daddy know I might be working with Coochie Cross, but what I'm doing right now is I'm keeping my enemy real close. Exactly. So don't, I don't get trust it twisted. Him. You need to figure out why she's here. <clears throat> and he was like, what are you talking about, Gigi? Your mama all up in your head, got you thinking some kind of way about this lady. And this lady ain't did nothing to us. She said, Daddy, if you gave her some money, get it back. Get the skit back. Because I don't trust her if something is going down. Bishop ain't trying here. None, of, None it. of it. At this point, you would have thought that Bishop would have at least stuck the tip in the way that he is going hard for her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's going hard for he her. He's going hard, yeah. Like, they don't have a spiritual interaction, like the connection. Nah. But them jazz bells got their way on you, though, man. Man. That they can control, it can control your whole life, man, and, and have you thinking that you the one that got the problem. <laughs> they can do it. So I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen them in too. action, man. And the Jezebel just ain't a female. <clears throat> nah, it can be a male, too. So, while he's still over there at the church, the divorce papers have come in. And uh, was it Corinne? Did Corinne give them to him? Somebody yeah, Corinne gave, Corinne them, gave them, to him. them to him. And... It just sent Bishop into a tailspin. And I was like, okay, what are we going to do now, Bishop? You got, you put a threat out there. The ammunition is in your hands now. What you going to do? Mm -hmm. He sat there, he looked at it, and he started carrying these papers around with him. It's like a dark cloud that was over his freaking head. Yep. He even got to the point where he talked to Jacob about it. And Jacob said, Dad, if you haven't any doubts about it don't sign the don't papers, sign the papers have your god doing silver jubilee uh-huh you and mama go to your separate ends of the corners and regroup and just regroup just, yeah. just let it ride out be like them folk that don't like each other they need to get a divorce but yeah. they just won't <laughs> they wait they'll wait for about 10 years first <laughs> but you don't, just don't do nothing I said, okay, Jacob, I give it to you. Yeah, that's good advice. You, yeah, you ain't got your thoughts right. You ain't decide what you're going to do. Just don't make an irrational decision that but, you're going to regret later. But listen to how Bishop, Bishop's so shady, y'all. 
He over there trying to get advice from his son about what to do, but why he all up in his business talking about something? Where your yeah. wife at? Uh huh, where your wife at? And uh, what was that situation when she went uh, <laughs> skanks so uh, in, in an office? Uh huh, Keisha Cole skanks. What, 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 he what, said, what, Daddy, I'm a changed man. I said, He said, I'm a yawn all that, man. I don't do that skit no more. Yeah, I've been. He a... said, <laughs> He looked at him like, yeah. Uh huh, I hear you. Ain't you my son? <laughs> Hey, hey, you you didn't learn the game. I taught you the uh -huh. game. <laughs> yep. So, Bishop still feeling how he feeling. He eventually went over there to Percy's. Well, Percy, his house, <clears throat> his house too. Okay, he gets in the door, and there's a young lady standing there. And I said, I thought it was Coochie Cross when I first saw it. I was like, what's Coochie Cross doing up over there? I said, person, I know what you ain't gonna do is bring some hookers over here. This man is in the middle of a goddamn IRS scandal as it is. You bring some hookers over here? <laughs> person said, he don't care nothing about that. The young lady told, where the hooker? Told Bishop said, I don't, basically, I put Percy to bed. You know, do you need some company? Bishop was like, no, nah, I'm, nah, I'm good. good. Bishop confronted Percy about it. And Percy said, you know, I'm not all right with this. I really am not all right with this. He was like, financially? He said, no. My spirit, my soul. Yeah, my me morals. As a man, I don't feel good, man. I don't I feel thought. good. She make me feel good. And she's a good actress. She makes me feel good. She, But at the end of the day, I know that I just paid money. To make that happen. Mm -hmm. He said, but what you got, what you got with Coochie Cross, that's rare. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, person. <laughs> you... <laughs> Hold on, because a whole bunch of us have already said we've been eyeballing the heck out of Percy. We like what Percy is doing, and we love that he's standing in the gap and he being there for a friend. But uh, not that you don't have nothing rare with your wife, but what you got with Coochie Cross is rare? Yeah. I think he was speaking from the point of having a young chick to get him that much attention without paying him no money. But uh -huh. he don't realize the bishop done put up a whole lot of money. No. But because, not in that way, though. Because everybody been saying Percy is part of the takedown, too. They sure have. Hmm. And I swear, when he said that, I said, in a time like this, the fuck you bringing up a cooch cross for? Yeah. When you know he's trying to get his wife back. And then he told him, say, you know what? You need to go on over there and make peace with your, with your wife's side piece. Go down <laughs> there to the convalescent home. <laughs> And make peace with the side piece. Because some relationships and Bishop, can be repaired. Bishop won't feel in that at all. So, at all. At all. I feel him though. But listen, Bishop went down there and he confronted Coochie Cross. Because now what person don't say it, don't resonate it in his spirit. And he got tried all to messed out, up. What you here for? What? what, what you, you said you love me. But why? That's why? Look at me. Look I'm old. Me. I got Parkinson. My hands shake, I, and it ain't the it ain't this, the, the blessed fingers either. <laughs> Should have bought a Honda. Um, cause Percy had told Bishop <laughs> Rochelle she the kind of woman that'll rub your feet. I said not the feet I saw. Uh uh. Bishop, I love you, but them I'm a foot person. If your toes are out, I'm looking. <laughs> them toes up there balled up like yeah. It says she'll ride you. Ride you good. I said, person. Like, what is she? Uh, I don't need to be hearing this from people that's my grandfather's <laughs> age. I would end up under my crown on top of you and ride you. I don't want to hear none of that. <sighs> so, Bishop asked her. And she was like, what? I would never tell you I loved you if I didn't mean, mean it. Mean it. He said, no, no, no. Get real with me. What do you want? Is this some kind of game? Are you using me? And oh boy. Did she, she she flipped the script on him so goddamn fast. She said, check them goddamn account. You know that app I gave you right there? Check it. Check them accounts right there. He he dipped them glasses up, you know, because you <laughs> 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 So you can see them words on there, man. He was like, oh I done made this said, much already. So she said, Who's using who? I said, Oh, that was no mad. man, no ring. No nothing. And I'm laid up here making you all this money yep. for nothing in return. And you got to remember that he told uh, Percy that she ain't even charging me nothing. No, told Gigi that. Yeah, told that, Gigi. That she invested the money and ain't even charging me nothing. And then the water work started. Mm -hmm. And I mean, oh. and that reverse psychology was on something, some she kind of good. She got it good, man. 
to the point where Bishop said, listen, I ain't never going to question you again. I am so sorry. I said, Bishop, she yep. got your high paws. But that's what the Jezebels do, man. Oh. So now the claws are in. They set Oh, yeah. Down. Oh, yeah. I said, okay, person, 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 person. So, Bishop goes over there to the um, convalescent home, to assistant living, to go see old Lionel. But before he could get in there good, he noticed that there was this white lady sitting over to the side, and she's crying, having a whole moment. And he went over there, he did, he turned into a bishop, he turned into a pastor, couldn't let her, couldn't see the sheep out there. Yeah, he seen an opportunity, so he took advantage, he couldn't walk away. Now, so he went over there and asked her, that, you know, could he sit with her and talk to her and come to find out that she was crying because she felt like she failed her father. She couldn't do it no more, she couldn't take care of him at home no more, he needed care that she couldn't do. She couldn't wash him up, she couldn't do all that, she had to work, she had to take care of her own kids. And now that she has to leave him there, she said she just feels Feel like bad. she's, she's mm -hmm. failing. Mm -hmm. And it hurts her to have to leave him in such a state like this. And Bishop really ministered to her on that thing. Yeah. I said, if you ain't getting nothing else out of this episode, sometimes the right decision makes feel like the wrong decision. But it's right. And he told her, he said, listen, it's a blessing that you have a father that you love and care about so much that you would have to make a decision like this mm -hmm. where you have to put him in a place that could take care of him the way that you can't yeah and he basically was saying god would not put that on you mm -hmm. if you couldn't handle making the right decision for your father yeah and not only that right there man that they was blessed to have enough money hello because that wasn't a cheap looking place to put him in a place like that because some people don't have that option nope not at all. They don't have the option to put their family in a place, so they have to struggle and try to make that thing happen. Mm -hmm. Your grandma be in the living room uh -huh. at the house, in the hospital bed. It, it, it's real. Yep. That is hard. That's hard. I remember my mama first came out the hospital. I thought I was going to lose my mind mm -hmm. because I still had to work. Yeah. So, I mean, I could take short term, but short term is without pay. Without pay, so... So, yeah, I understand and thank God that she can take care of herself now. You know, mm -hmm. I, I just have to watch over her like a kid. But um, but, but that goes back yeah. to like we've been echoing on all the channels. You got to make sure you get your, get your, get get your, your money skin. right, man. So make sure if something, you not not saying something going to happen, but something going to happen. It's going to rain one day. Yeah, it's going to rain, but make sure you got it right because what you don't do, Somebody else gonna have to do it for you. And, and, and do you have enough money to pay them to do it? Mm hmm. Yeah. And, the, hey, hey, and they trying to cut Medicare and Medicaid, so. Yep. Make sure y'all vote. Yeah, so don't depend on that. So, Bishop prayed with the lady, and you could tell that she felt better, but she's still gonna battle with that. Decision, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Most I mean, that's just like if something were to happen to one of us, mm -hmm. and we would have to make that decision. It's gonna be hard. That is hard. Mm -hmm. I just crap. I only want to think about, but that nah. would be. Oh Lord, I'd be like, can I just move my bed in there too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> like, come on, bring the bed on there. <laughs> so he gets in there and he's talking to Lionel. Lionel look bad, y'all. Lionel look bad. He look like he. He had... look like George Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> he look like he had a bath in weeks. I said, I said, darn. Like, ain't nobody comb your hair. Now, this is where Bishop gets on my nerves. Because <laughs> Bishop can flip on you real quick. He is so multidimensional, man. Uh, he was like, of all people, all the skit that we could do, you look to your friends to hold it down. Mm -hmm. But you slept around with my wife, though? For real? Yeah. But Bishop, you slept around with my sister, though. Yep. Two wrongs don't make a right, but I think mm -hmm. in this moment right here, we just gonna have to say, I forgive you, I forgive you, let's cancel this out. L let me tell you what he was saying from a breath perspective. Because I know y'all can't handle it. Nah. <clears throat> see, see, when you got that breath thing going on, y'all tight, y'all cool, everything is, 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 is yours in our life except for our woman. That's, that's the part that's off limits. And we will trust you around them. We won't be, we won't give you the side eye if you in our corner or we let you in our circle. We ain't giving, because we trust you like that. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, we let you stay at the house while we ain't even there. 
So you when you break that right there, man, that's serious. But you don't think women have that too? Yeah, I'm, but, I'm, but hey, I ain't speaking from a woman's perspective. I'm speaking from the bruh. Okay. I'm speaking what I know. Well, let me tell you this. I don't want your goddamn darn brother. <laughs> Just in case that ever pop of your guy don't want mine. But it goes beyond brothers as, fr as friends. Because we, we, Bishop Tellum said, the one thing that hurt Jesus the most was being betrayed by his friend. Bishop. And that's so true. Bishop. He right about it, though, man. Think about the time you got betrayed by your friend. And May could say, <laughs> we betrayed, what hurt me the most is when my husband slept with my goddaughter. So exactly. Betrayal. So, two wrongs on May right. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then this is what Bishop had to say. And I said, Bishop, you kind of oh, yeah, yeah. honor for this. Yeah, he, yeah, this, yeah, this he is a little bit. He going to tell Lionel, he said, listen, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> But this gonna be the last, last time, time I see you on this side. In this life. In this life. Like, said, like as if he pronouncing that, that you ain't even gonna make it out of this place. <laughs> to me, this is what Bishop said. This is what Bishop said in street talk. Motherbucker, mm -hmm. take a bath, take your pills, and wherever you shall meet up at is where I'll be in the afterlife. But right here, right now, you ain't ever gonna see me again. He pretty much told um like Kevin on um on on um Shark Tank, you dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> it walked out. I and said, Bishop, out. We gonna need a little bit. <laughs> but I was looking for Lionel to say something more deeper than I'm so sorry. He couldn't say I'm so else. sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry that I impregnated your daughter your wife. I'm so sorry. And that he, daughter that you love ain't he, yours? He, you done had a plenty enough time. Just like the time you had to prepare your sermon for your Sunday messages, you could have had a message prepared when the bishop showed up. Cause he been morning. reaching out to him for months. Yeah, you been reaching out to him and calling him. And the most you can say, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But you know what that is, Tyler. When people sit, they don't need a speech. They put on the puppy dog eyes. But you done, slept with, this, you, you done slept with this man's <laughs> wife. He not moved by that. Now, if it hadn't been like that, he would be moved by that. May pull the panties to the side. <laughs> Told you keep your feelings to the side. <laughs> Rich gay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was like, Bishop, you cold hearted for that one. Yeah, man. Cold blooded right there. Darn. Lalo couldn't say he just sat there and looked like George Jefferson, man. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually, we back over there at all because we don't have the Silver Jubilee and Bishop don't song his song. Shall my living shall not be. You gotta sing with me. <laughs> all right, in closing, Bishop took those papers. He eventually signed those papers <clears throat> and he took those into May's office, right? And I told y'all last week. May doesn't want this guy doing divorce. Now it's, it's the cat and mouse thing now. And yep. it's a power play between yep. both of them. Neither one of them are <clears throat> going to be the one that say, you know what? Pause. Let's go ahead. Just Let's just figure this out. Like my cousin said, think and figure this out. Let's figure this out. Yeah, let's sit down and have a cup of coffee over it, man. Yeah. Y'all like the brown, so let's do the brown. Mm -hmm. Let the panties come down and we can see how <laughs> this is in the morning. So, she asked him, she said, why did you sign them? And he was like, excuse me? She said, why did you sign them? And I'm sitting here like, but ain't he, this everything? Ain't, this what, ain't that what you wanted? He lied. He made a move that he shouldn't have made. Now the ball but, is in but, motion and now. But, but this, this, this messed me up when he said, because I realized that I'm not entitled. I don't have rights, rights to this marriage, marriage anymore. Like, what, what the you mean hell by does that, that mean? Does that mean that you don't think you good for May or you don't? Cause he even told Charity, he said, your mama making moves that she never made before while we were married. And I like seeing, basically I like seeing her in that element. That don't mean y'all ain't supposed to be together. That yeah. means that she coming out of your shadow. Yeah, she don't. She already been like, what you call it? She had already been doing it anyway. Yeah, but Gigi said, you don't but, see what goes on in the background. But it looks a little bit different when she on her own. Yeah. Yeah. Same moves. Sometimes, look, the 
greatest gifts in the world don't need to be announced. Just be. Just That's do. Right. I can't so stand you, a person. So your gifts will make room for you and bring you before great men. Yeah, that's why I can't stand people that always got to tell you how great they are, what they <clears> do, <throat> how they did it, they did this, they did that, they brought that plant. I can't do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just let, do it. Let your stuff speak for itself and one day somebody going to ask how, what who, makes this wheel go yeah, round. Who did that right there? I need to find out and they're not going to stop until they find you. Because when you, mm, don't even worry about it. <clears throat> that's all right. Um. You, like they say at church, you'll catch that in the morning. You'll catch that in the morning. And then <laughs> put an offering on it. So, <clears throat> he looked at her. She looked at him. And this was a power move, too. Now that he signed the papers, she looked as if, well, bucket. You signed them. I'm going to sign them, too. And she handed the papers right back to him immediately. Yep. And he just teared up. And cr I said, he oh, was. Jesus, Bishop, that felt that. I ain't never seen him speechless. Usually he had something to say. He just walked away. And told Corinne, send <clears throat> these to my attorney. Now, this is what I think is going to happen. Corinne ain't going to send that skip. You think she's going to hold on to Because she know that them motherfuckers is full of skip. Mm -hmm. And that they over here just playing the game with their or lies. She gonna, or she going to lie and say, I sent it and got and lost in the mail. And got lost in the mail. And they sit <clears throat> right there in that dead on drawer. Yep. And then she had to, and she said, but you know what? You just missed Sophia. Because, you know, Sophia went to the church and she told Bishop, she ain't touched my soul. I ain't got one. I ain't got one. <laughs> she done brought the Bible back and put it on the desk. Sophia ain't about this church life no more. She ain't about Jesus mm -hmm. no more either. So you try to tell her that railroad track and railroad cart and all that stuff story that didn't reach her. Mm -mm, so you don't you know, <clears throat> your wife gone and your um your 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 future um pastor. God yeah. darn, Bishop only got three blows in one episode. Yeah, y'all. So this was all about reflections and people mm -hmm. trying to figure their skit out. But Lord, now but such is life. So All of us like, trying to figure out, man. Trying yeah. to figure this thing out. But I don't like that trying to get right with people on their deathbed stuff. Y'all probably heard me say that skit before. Yeah. I don't like it. Because mm -hmm. to me, like you said, I don't think it's genuine. I mean, I appreciate it. I don't. I, I, but it's it's more powerful and effective if you do it while, you, while you're healthy. See, this is how I look at it. The same conscience that you have when you're dying is the same one you have when you're having a good God doing time. Why you ain't apologize to me when you on your way to Miami to have a good time? Why you gotta apologize to me when you are on your way to God doing chemotherapy? Let me put it to you this way. I, I don't know what it's like to be on my deathbed. I've never been to that place before. Thank God. But I've been broke before. Yeah. So I'm gonna use that as an analogy and I'm gonna let y'all go. <laughs> See, when you got a whole lot of money in your pocket, oh, you ain't thinking about today, tomorrow, next week. You just thinking about living it up right now. But when that money run out and you broke and own a few dollars in that account or a few dollars in your pocket, you start to doing a whole lot of reflecting <laughs> on all this skit. You just spent all that money on and be like, man, I ain't need to spend money on this. I ain't need to do this. I ain't need to do that. I think that's the same way with the deathbed. You done wronged a bunch of people and you can't really see it clear until you're on your deathbed. Just like you can't see clear about how you spent your money until you broke. I'm gone. I appreciate that. Straight from the VA. Come on in. Man, that was, that was deep. That was deep, won't it? That was deep. God darn it. What you're not going to do is do a bishop. Say something and walk the hell away. See, look, y'all get a whole lot of good wisdom and a good word on here for free, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm going yeah. to open me up for God doing church on here. Man. man I'm, all right, I'm not. Don't hold me to that. Straight from the VN. <laughs> the dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.